The Fort Bend campus at the Houston Museum of Natural Science is hosting a traveling exhibit on a remarkable animal. Director Adrian Barker explains. We are so pleased to have Masters of the Night, The True Story of Bats. It's a great exhibit that tells all about bats and hopefully dispels some of the myths that people have about bats as creatures. Well, I think when people think of bats, they think of um, creepy little animals flying around that maybe get caught in your hair and swoop down. And um, we also think of rabies, which um, bats are carriers of rabies, but many animals are, so they're not distinctive in that. But I think we just have sort of a, a, um, a, a creepy feel about bats and they're associated with darkness and caves and things like that that um, people sometimes don't think are so, so much fun. They do a lot of quite good things for us in our environment. I think most people are aware that they are great eaters of insects. And so, especially here in the Gulf Coast area, it's good to have bats because they eat mosquitoes. So they help keep our insect population in balance and, and at the right levels. But they also play a very important role in pollinating different types of fruits and plants and vegetables, things like that. And that's something that most people probably don't know as much about. The exhibit features a variety of hands-on elements to enhance learning. We have lots of fun things to do here in the exhibit. One of my favorites is the giant bat ears. And actually, people associate bats with being blind. Um, we have the saying, blind as a bat. And they aren't totally blind, but they do rely more on sound and some of those uh, radar and sonar type senses to detect other animals and bats and their babies and things like that. So in this exhibit, we have a pair of giant bat ears that you actually get to stand by and put over your ear to magnify sounds in the room. And that's meant to replicate the hearing of a bat if you actually had hearing at a bat's level. So that's kind of a neat thing for kids and adults to look at and see. And the importance of that is that some people can see a concept and grasp it. Others have to really uh, touch it and feel it and, and, and try it. So we have lots of neat things here in the exhibit that allow people to learn in both ways and gather information both ways. We try to focus on experiences that people wouldn't get otherwise. Kind of behind the scenes, let them come in and have a little scientific experience that they might not be able to have anyplace else. So uh, we are having a great event on Pi Day in March. That falls during spring break, March 14th. And we actually, we've gotten kind of crazy. We're gonna call it Pi Day Makes Us Batty. And we're gonna combine some Pi Day activities and numbers and math and fun things associated with Pi Day. And we're gonna tie that in with bats. And our very loose connection is that bats uh, pollinate fruit and fruit goes in pies and so we're going to have Pie Day Makes Us Batty in March. The museum encourages participation from its local community. We love to have guests here, we love to have our patrons in visiting the museum, seeing what's new, visiting what is, um, has been here that is a favorite of them. But we also welcome volunteers. We have volunteers that work in lots of different roles, both behind the scenes and out with patrons and um, helping people learn. We also take donations. We're not an organization that's supported by government funding or something like that. We are supported by private donations, and so we accept donations as well. Um, but mostly we just encourage people to come out. Come out and find the place that's right for you at the museum. For more information about BATS, Masters of the Night, visit the museum's website at www.hmns.org. For Animal Magnetism, I'm Stacy Hawkins. 